Hi everyone. Now I'm on the river Dune again. Uh, I'm heading up the river. Uh, the last time I was here I fished the, the bottom. So we may head down there as, uh, as the day goes on. But I'm going to go up and fish so I'm mainly in the middle middle part of the, the beat I'm on. And uh, we're still early, it's well, quarter up to twelve. It's not a warm day, but uh, you can see it's not very bright as well. But I would expect to see some fly on the water. And uh, as you can see, the leaves are. No, it's an odd tree with, with some, but they're still in the early part of the season, so, but anyway, looks good, the river height's nice, there's very little wind, which is really, really good, because we've had a, we're still getting the odd, what wind's there, it's coming from the east, so it's a cold wind, and uh, I would say we for a good week or so behind which I don't mind because when we do get the heat we get an explosion of different flies all coming off at much at the same time and it's going to be really good fun and uh, this time of year we could yeah, grant them usually we start to see them which is a early sedge hatch and the fish love them so, I don't know if we'll see any of the day, but we'll see. We meant to get some sun later in the day, but um, I'm not sure. The river, I was on the river air, a wee quick look. And there's no sign of any grey, any, any granum, so... You never know. It could suddenly be the first day of the hatch. But we'll still expect to see some olives, March browns. So we'll see how it goes. I see I'm not going to go too far up and uh, we'll see what happens you can see it looks good it's great to be out and uh, I'll stop for a second and listen to the birds You can see this, but a Jenny Longleg in April. <laughs> Gosh, must have seen a Jenny Longleg in April. Anyway, better known as a crane fly. Very, there you go. April the 28th and Jenny Longleg. Gosh. I mean, this is a this is a nice pool, but to get fish to. And I really come up and get feed and we need a hatch. And I stood for a wee while, just a two or three minutes. And the only thing I've seen is the oh, daddy long legs. Uh, which is unusual as I say. I mean they set up. Let's go back to this bench here. Now I'm fishing. Somebody asked me what rod I use. I like a nine. This is a nine foot four weight. Uh, this is a the cadence. This is a the rod I, I like. It's a lovely with the the line to go with it. The four weight. So uh, I've actually got a tapered leader on it at the moment for a like dry fly. And because uh, my intentions is to fish the dry, but then if there's nothing happening. Wet fly fishing, nymph. I've got to try it. So, anyway, we're going to set up and see how we got on. Doesn't matter how things go today, we're going to enjoy it. Okay, hi right, everyone. Uh, now, I've set up. 
I basically have got a tapered leader down to three pound tippet and uh, and I've stood for the last five so minutes and there's no sign of any fly or anything coming off but I mean really I should put a, maybe a wet fly cast on or so but what I've decided to do is just tie or tie off the bend of the dry fly uh, a parched brown nymph uh, it's just a basic March brown fly uh, this one's tied by it's actually tied by wool it's quite a simple fly so it's basically to represent both the this last time I was here there was plenty of March brown around a uh, few olives, but this is a good a good pair up. So I'm going to just fish, this is fish quite close to the the surface, it's only 18 inches just off the back, so I'm keeping the nymph quite high up. And uh, I'm just going to work about it, or cast basically into the, the run here and fish it just like a dry fly, it's just a bit of fish and the nymph off it. So anyway, we're going to get, give it a go. There's a, a nice pool above here, uh, it's pretty hard to get in on this side. At times it has some really good fish rising in it. Uh, it's best fish from the other side but I can't fish from there. So I've, I'll have a look, you can see it. It's a nice run. And the fish rat lie. Well, they rise very close to this bank, all the way, some maybe in the centre near the end here, like, but quite a lot of them underneath the trees. So, I'll keep an eye on that just in case if I see a fish rising, I can sort of walk up the centre and try and get a cast to it. It's not easy, but it's good. It's good fun. But anyway, in here, it's a good run. And uh, I'm just going to fish very close first. Use my dry fly as a well, as a dry fly, but as a sighter as well, so I can fish the the nymph. As I say, just fish it like it's a a dry fly. Just let it naturally run through. Uh, if you see it's pulling away, obviously, chances are you've got a take, especially fishing very close. I'll start off just this side of the run. And then just slowly work out. I'm not going to fish too far away. The more control, the closer you are. And if you do see a rye or pull, you can see it much easier. The dry fly I'm fishing is the, the Dynamite Harry fly, or a pattern of the March Brown, which I have on YouTube. And uh, it's very good for, it's a good pattern to use for itself, but it's, but it's a good fly to use when you're hanging a nymph off the back. Uh, it supports it, it can hang on, I mean, it doesn't get drawn down anyway. This is a good, it's a good salmon pool, it's a good one for fishing. Salmon fly because of the nice run. And uh, if there's fish moving or fish running through, it's a great pool.
all I'm doing here is just putting the fly into an area where it's it's only going to be fishing for a couple of feet or so before it starts to trail out but you're just basically popping the dry fly into an area where you think a fish may be lying and uh, give it a second to see your fly uh, and then obviously see the, the nymph as well and uh, I just got to because of this run it's quite fast coming through I mean we can fish it but fish don't always lie in the middle of the run because it's a good lies here on the other side I may get a cast up here even though I'm not seeing any fish rising above the pool here I keep looking up to see if there's any rising but nothing so I may go up here and just get a quick cast because up to that there's a couple of trees uh, I could fish below Okay, I've came above. I've came up to this pool just where we started. Uh, I've not seen any fish rising, but what I'm going to do is just. I'm still fishing the dry fly in the nymph. And I'm just casting where I've seen fish in the past uh, rising. And uh, see what happens. Just gather your line up, let it drift naturally towards you. And uh, just watch for your dry either pulling away or even the fish coming and taking it. Just searching the pool. Oh, jeez, here we are. Missed it. Fish tend to dry there, so as you may have seen that. Never connected, so that was quick. Oh, what was that at the bottom? Another fish. Well, I never touched that fish at rose, so... Oops. I'll just try... right up the middle here, see if there's anything on that side. Yep, maybe that was the bottom. A nice cast straight up the middle. Just keep in contact with your line. And then back out. It's a great way of fishing this lake. Uh, it's a good way of covering the pool. Still not seeing any fly. Well, there's a fly there, sorry. <laughs> there's a fly, a natural, just coming towards us. I'll see if I can get it. Looks like a, a March Brown. Is it? Is I? Yeah, I missed it. Anyway, we've seen us. Uh, good to see a fly in the water. It's a bit shallower there. I'll put it back up. Do is here, then I'll move down. It's 
It's a lovely bank there for fishing from. But as I say, I can only fish this this side. Oh well, there's now we'll head down a wee bit, we'll fish the the bend to this pool. Okay. We fish the edge of the, the run here first before we start to work our way down. Just pop the dry fly in with the nymph below it. Just along the edge here. You'll be surprised but it lies quite close to you. It's a very odd fly I'm seeing in uh, nothing. It's early yet. So it is. We've got plenty of time. Ah, there's a fish there. That looks quite a good fish. Here we go. Ten in them. So we brown trout. It's good. Nice wee fish. There you go. I wonder if you can see that okay. Just let them settle. He's hooked in the scissors. I'm fishing barbless so it's dead easy to get them to come out. Lovely wee brown trout. There we are. Just put them back. First fish, good. I think that was the fish that came up, so... It's always good to cover the fish that rises, whether you catch it with the dry or the nymph. In that case, it took the nymph. And uh, I actually saw the flash just below it. The line I'm using, I've actually changed my line for the. Oh, that's a take. I've changed the line I'm using. The this is the cadence, four weight to go with the rod, and uh, I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I like it, it's a really good, nice line. Turns over really well. It's lovely and straight as well. I usually, uh, you know, you're probably uh, see me using the white line, that was the Lee Wolf I've used for, jeez. I've used Lee, Lee Wolf lines for 30 years. It's quite hard to change a line, but it makes sense to fish a line to go with the rod, so. Uh, this is my first day really out with it, and it's very good, <laughs> I just I feel no difference. Turns over, it's got a lovely, it's very nice and soft, it's, it's a big match brown there. Uh, oh, yeah, see it, see it, flying by, lovely big fly. So we may get a good hatch today. You can see how it just turns over. I use a tapered leader that's the Lee Wolf, uh, sorry, not Lee Wolf. It's a fully mill tapered leader, but they're all much the same uh, leaders. But uh, I use it either by for dry fly fishing, I buy the tapered down to four pound or three, and it depends, and then I add a tippet. Oh! 
Jeez, I was just stopped talking half the time. That was a nice fish. Had a bit of weight in it. So it did. Just checking my fly. Hey, jeez, that was a nice fish. That was a really good fish. But anyway, we'll try again. This is where I would expect to see a decent fish. It's just a slightly bit of camera here. Uh, the f any fish feeding will be just picking the flies off of the normally the hatch in the rough water and come out. Such a lovely line to cast that, so it is. It just turns over really well. There we go. I'll let tend to dry this one. Nice wee brown trout. Just get them in here. There we go. The fly's right on the top lip. Just it's a babble shook, obviously. Just in a grip of it, there we go. Lovely wee brownie. Untangled. There we go. So as I say, it's a good way of fishing dry and in this case a nymph for a wet. Uh, you can catch them both flies. Especially when it's quiet, you need something like this. Mine needs a wee dry. Yeah. Maybe I need to dry my fly a wee bit better. Maybe I dry my fly, I've got the Amadou patch, which is the Amadou piece of leather. Just take the good and take it out. Check again, same mint, and then I'll cast her too. And she's sitting nice and high. There's a fish there, the fish rose just above here. See one or two flies, so a bit more fly life coming off. That's right over that fish. So I may walk back up, seeing there's flies starting to show, because they might have missed a fish or two. Just drive a bit further over. Fly pauses or just suddenly stops, so you've got to strike. Uh, got to focus on your dry fly. Slightly as we pause or tap, you best to tighten up and strike. It's a lovely pool to fish this, really is. It's just nice to allow the fly to drift through it just. I mean what makes it easy to cast the fly is this this rod action, it's it's a progressive rod, progressive action. It's uh it just there you go. 
and the wee fish. You see how it just paused for a second. It's like a pea in the pod with the three fish about the same size. That one I lost. That was a decent fish. Right, there we go. A nice wee brownie. Just, just allow it to sit in your hand. Very easy. Lovely wee brownie. There you go. Uh, it's great fun. And that's three. Lost one. Missed a couple. So, there we go. See if they're there. Okay. Well, I fished through the pool and I fished my way up. Now I'm going to end up, I'm going to work my way down the river. Oh. Must have fly there. We'll see what it's down. I mean, three fish out of the pool. I lost, lost one, missed a couple, which is good. Considering there's very little fly, or no fly on the water yet, so. Uh, it's been really good, so. Okay, we'll move down to the next pool. Give that a go. Now I'm just coming on to assist pool. Uh, again, great pool from the other side. <laughs> Good pool for this side, the problem being is uh, Getting on to the water without getting over your way or something. Lovely fish just rose there. Just see where the stone is, just a bit. Another one. Just a bit right, a yard. Down and by side, there's another one over there. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna hopefully maybe get one, one or two fish here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the nymph off. Just focus on the dry. It's quite simple to remove the nymph. Just pull it around the bend of the hook. And that being barbless, so oops. Just pulls off. So what I'm gonna do is I'll send that there. Put the nymph away. Okay, now, I had to, in case you wonder what happened there, I actually had the battery went flat in the, the camera, so new battery on, flies ready as I say, just put muslin on it, it's nice and dry, so I'm just going to concentrate on the dry fly, turn the nymph off. Uh, I've stood for, since I started walking down, I've seen two fish rise and they haven't, they haven't come back up, but I know where they are, just keeping an eye on them. On that area anyway. I'm gonna work my way down. Last year the one of the big trees came down so there's a lot of branches at my feet. I need to be careful. So I'm just gonna walk. Take my time. It's bouncy. Now I'm, I need to watch up here because this is a good area here as well. The fish to light, and even just in front of me here, I don't really have a a good back cast. Now I'm just going to catch one of the flies. Hopefully you can see there's a nice olive. Hopefully you can see there, just come off. Lovely. You've got to be careful when you don't. Try and not handle the fly, let them land on you in a way because they're easy damaged. Well, maybe. If it wasn't for these branches at my feet, it would be easy walking. But anyway, just take your time, be careful. We start, see where we are. We start casting up here just to double check there's nothing lying. 
Up the way. I'm just gonna. I say I don't really have a decent back cast. So dry my, my fly. See where it's sitting. That looks fine. And then I'm just gonna look down water and then back cast it's probably the easiest way to do it. So basically just look downstream and see where the line's going, pop it out. Now, that fish has just come back up, so I'm just going to pop the fly over it. There's one or two flies on the water here, I can see them there. So, they're starting to come off. So it's a great pull this because we've got a nice run here and uh, it's quite shallow, flies are coming off in the, the shallow water and then drifting into this main pool. Here we go, straight away. Oh, he doesn't want to stay in the water. Jesus. Here is he. <laughs> He's down there. He wants to... That was a good take straight away. Whenever I put it into the area. Go straight up onto the fly. Good. Gosh, he's... It's got a nice brown trout. I mean, these are wild fish. These are stock fish, so... They're really good. Good condition. You do it by hand, so like your hand slightly underneath, there's the fly there. It's quite simple. As you can see, lovely fish, great order in a way. It's the quickest and easiest way to handle a fish. So yeah folks. <laughs> the fish was was waiting for my fly, I think. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed that wee uh, first cover of the fish really. And I know there's one just below it, a rose. So the first thing I'm going to do is dry my fly, untangle my leader. Put it back over. Let's right. see further out that one. That's about right. The slide's going down, but there's not, I mean, the fish are only up the once. Another. Just going to give it a second, because I did maybe disturb it. So a wee back cast here, up into this run, which can be quite good. I still see flies going down, but nothing rising. I think what I'm going to do is get further down. Oh, just hit this bush. Okay, folks, uh, a bit quiet here. I'm going to head down to the next pool. Had a nice fish out. It was worth worth casting to it, and I mean, it was obviously worth fishing.
Well, I've wanted has to come down a couple of pools really quiet up to that side a bit windier down here not much of wind but still there uh, you've seen me fish this pool before and uh, it's always a good bit up the top there's the good this nice run here always fish lying in here We quite look before we do anything. So there's a the fish just there, and another see the wee fish there. I see the one or two olives. We'll give it a cast. Still got the same fly on, haven't changed, that's just the dry fly itself. Cast right along the edge here. before I start to go out a wee bit I'm done there it's usually best to work up the way if you're fishing dries so I'm just going to walk a bit Going down to this, the stone here, there's a fish there, that's a nice fish. Right at the very edge as well. Let's see if I can get it. I think it's just another foot further out and a fish there. I'll just leave it further than that. Should cover it. Nip to the surface that fish. Tiny wee nip. Just about it takes off, but I don't know if that was the fish that arose. I don't think it was actually. I'm going up a wee bit further. See that? That's a nice fish. Don't know if you saw that. Not well, too far out. Just let it run through. There we go. See, just let it go by, even though. Oof. Jesus. Nice brownie. Just doesn't want you to stay in the water. <laughs> right, here we go. Nice and easy. Let's just let it settle. There we are. A lovely brown trout. Anyway. And that wasn't the fish we were casting to, so quick dry the fly, put it in Amadou. Go back out. Try for the one we were going for. So I'm saying you don't really want to wade because these fish tend to they don't they, they work this they come in off the main run of the faster water and take it pick off these flies as they're hatching. You'll probably see why I don't cast. There's these 
bushes behind me, which uh, just caught my line. Look, there's a fish in front of me here. I don't really have a back cast, never do. Oh, gosh, I missed that one. Oh, there we go. That's a nice fish. Whoosh. That was that fish I rose there, I think. It's me brownie. Gosh, there's lovely markings, this one. Lovely colour. There we go. Lovely fish. He's taking the fly down a bit, though. It's popped out. Just gotta be careful. Oh, no, mate. Seen a nice, another nice fish just rising further up here. Uh, yes, there is one or two guns on the water now. Fly sat, sitting up nice. Oh, missed it. Never touched that fish there, it took the fly. Uh, I never touched it though. Take my camera. One or two duns coming off now. I can see them. I may go down a bit. I'll be guaranteed to be fish rising in the main pool. Usually they're, they're good size, so I may give them a go. Give this a rest, because I've had one or two fish out it. Just give it a wee while. Well, it's just a wee fish. What we got? Just a wee brownie. Oh, I'll take that as a Trigger to go down, whoa, whoa, whoa. spinning around in circles, there we go. Lovely wee fish. So what we'll do, we'll give that ruby run a rest, see if I've had one or two fish and go down into the, this long pool. Okay, I'm going to stay well back for the river just now, and especially this bit here because it's very easy to just blown us straight onto it. But this, it's not very wide, the river here. It's not wide, the river down's not wide at all, but uh, the fish normally lie close to the the wall. And uh, there's a fish there. Just, just in front of us. Just where I expect to see a fish rising. So I'm just gonna I'm stay in the bank. I'm okay with a back gas, there's no nothing on my way. Just go down my knees here. And uh make sure the fly's nice and dry. Just slowly put the cast out now. Fish rose about a yard or so from the wall. Right on top of it, just there. So I'm going to cast just slightly above. And let it drift naturally onto it. Try a wee bit further up. 
I've got plenty of time to see the fly coming towards it. Uh, skating through. Just let your fly go by before you lift off. There he's there. Just below it. The river's bringing the fly quite quick towards us, so they drop it. There is, it's actually further over there. Could be a couple there, but they, they will move. Right. I think there's a couple of fish there, that one seems further down. Oh! Jeez, give it a second, that didn't fly but I totally missed, just missed it completely. Just give it a second. I never touched it so... Yeah. Took it quite fast compared to he was taking the natural, so back out. No, well, he's there, he's still there. Did any spook him? Well, there's a couple of fish there anyway. Just slightly further over. Fish below us, quite close in. Oh. That wasn't me, I struck because I lost sight of my fly. Always best to strike, if you lose the sight of your fly, to strike if a fish rises because it could be yours. Yeah. Sitting nice, just coming up onto it. Uh, it's Here we go. Oh, this feels like a good fish. This, jeez, eh? A nice solid take. Just come down. Oh dear, oh. it seems solid because it looks like it's full hooked to fish. That's why I'm getting that heavy pull, but anyway, we'll let them go, it should be fine. It's unusual to, to do that. There we are. It's not in good order, this wee fish has lost a bit of his tail. There we go. Then we, we've got the fish. Just working my way up the run here. Uh, I've seen one or two small fish rising. We'll just a wee fish there. There is a few par in the river at the moment, as I said, to, we'll try and not catch them. See if we can just try and pick out the, the bigger fish if we can, anyway. Another oh, nice fish there. Ooh. Looked a good fish. Oh, further up. Ah, 
it's a wee path. That's what the problem is, you get these, that's half good. So, there's decent sized fish there. Then it's up again. Okay, right, try and keep it the road of the park. It's just. Try and fly it. Get it to up. Oh, that's a good fish. So there, that's the brownie I was trying to get. Whoa! Gosh, stay in the water. <laughs> oh, he's away. Gosh. Look at that, that was, it's going back anyway, but that was fun. That was a nice brownie. We'll go back out there. I need to dry my fly. Uh, great fun. <laughs> I knew there was a decent or better fish in there. You can see the, the rise. I may put some muslin on it. It's had a few, few fish. I'll dried my fly again, we're ready to go. I'll put it back up in there. Yeah, it's been quiet now. I'll just come up a wee bit further. I think I've jagged everything or spooked. There's quite a few fish out of this run. Is it? It's 20 past 2, so I've been on the river a good couple of hours now, so I did well. I've actually had a, quite a few fish and uh, can't complain at all. Getting out's great, like, and uh, so I'll just work up here. Then I'm going to fish up under the trees up here. It's always a good Good area to fish. And it's went quite here. It's a good half dozen fish or so out of this, but it's a kind of a big fish. It's going to be fish quite close to us there, but you, you tell you, at times you're surprised. These fish will come right in. When especially seen enough fly anyway, they'll come right in close. Well, that's just a wee par. Right, we're gonna head up, put this wee boy back. Don't want to hurt him. Don't want to catch par. So we let him sell. Nice wee fish. Hopefully he'll come back. Okay, this is a, you've seen me, I'm sure you've seen me fish here before. Uh, can be a very good area to fish. Not so easy to cast when you've got trees right above you, like, but uh, doesn't matter, you can still easily you can still get by. So it's always best just to have a good look. So watch for any sign of fish, obviously. It could be quite close, you've got to watch here because. The duke rise right along the edge here. You don't want to just walk straight in. I see some downs on the water, mainly flying like rather than on the water. So they're hatching. So anyway, I'll give it a go. I can see I think I saw a fish just at the top of that run there.
Oh, that's, a, that's a nice fish. It's a lovely fish that. I'm going to work up towards that. That look, look, look like a decent brown trout. There's another one there. You see, I don't really have a back cast here. I've got to kind of flick it out. So, oh, got a takes really. I think it was a big fish, like, but there's a fish, another one just the other side. Hit the bank there. It's just so you don't want to kind of lift the rod point too high, you've got to keep it quite low and just let it turn out. I've got, I don't think it's just a wee par. But there's it, so it's off good. So there's, a, there's one or two wee par there, it's just you're going to try and have to fish through them. Went a wee bit too far there. There's that fish up again, that was a good trout. Uh, it's a wee fish again. I need to watch, I don't want to barge into that one. I should cover it. I'll just give him a second or so, but there's another one just to the other side there. I've seen it just move uh, just about there. There you go. That's a decent fish up there. It's just I'd rather work up to it than rather than just miss out the ones in front of me. Gosh, there's quite a few fish in this pool. This one there. That should be covering it. There we go. Keep them down and away for the fish. That's a nice wee brown. There you go, there it's. Nice wee brown trout. There we are. Lovely fish. There's one or two more in there. Drying the fly. That's a big fish, there's a better fish further up. There's one or two decent fish up there. So I'm going to work up to them. So, um, that's sitting nice. That one. Right up the middle here, so there's fish right up the middle. Oh, there's a nice fish there. Just in front is. It's quite awkward to cast it because it's just right there. It's just I've got no back cast here. And the light's quite hard to see. Must be coming over it. Okay, I've just changed changed my fly. I was just getting a bit I've had it on all day, so getting a bit soggy. Fly's fine, it's just that it's had a few fish and uh, decided just to change it up for a fresh one. I've got the green moves on, uh, Dynamite Harry. Uh, it's a good pattern. There's olives coming off, there's March Browns, so... There's a wee fish rising just here in front of us. Well, it was anyway. Oh, there's, there's a wee brownie there, and a, a go at a fly.
فاش يبقى كاين بلومي هادا انت This went really quiet. I don't know if it's a big fish though. Right, that's it. Let me dry. Drift towards it. Come down. Actually, I see one or two fish below me, well below. It's tempting to go back down because that's where I've seen most of the fish rising, so I'll just give this a, a go. It's not far out, this fish. It's very quiet. What I may do. I don't know, I'll have to go down and fish. I could see fish rising. There's an I'll give that fish a go because that was a look like a nice enough fish. Just as a reeling in there I saw a fish rise. So I'll try this fish just further up. Oh. We par, I just, just jumped off, that's good. A, it's hard to tell sometimes if it's a par or a trout. I think I'll just have a wee quick back down to the, the stream. Because I could actually see fish rising. Oh, just a wee brownie, or a wee par, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's just a wee par, so what we'll do is we'll obviously put this one back. Oop. This is. This is a salmon par, this one. There we are. You should see the difference with the sea trout and the salmon paw. I've come back down to a stream because while well, I was fishing the pool above I could actually see fish rising so I've come back down. And uh, just fished above, so just above the wind there. And I could see fish moving quite regular so I'm going to give it a quick go. For a head head home, and uh, see if we can catch one. I'm going to come down a bit because I'd rather work up. Fish I saw rising were just up here, so I'm just going to work my way up. Pool. And uh, just fish along the very edge of this run because that seems to be the other line. I uh, had to change the battery again, so at the same time, I just changed back to I had a uh, green moles on, but I was getting the odd tape, but not as many as I was with the Marks Brown, so I put it back on. Uh, the Dynamite Harry version, anyway and see what happens because they are big the big olives, big duns, big marsh browns on the water when they do come down so in this rough water they'll, they'll see it better and that's what I've been catching most of the fish on so so still one or two duns coming off in the, the run This went really quiet, so it's been time to head up the road. I may get a cast in the pool at the top before I 
head to the car. It's been good fun, I've enjoyed it. There you go. Got a few nice fish, nice brownies. And uh, it's this time of the year you don't get a lot. The hatch doesn't last very long. A couple of hours or so, and then it gets really quiet. And uh, we've had this easterly wind for as long. It's made the fishing a bit slow. It's not too bad today though, that's quite... It's not much of a wind, that's what's helped. With the cold easterly wind, or northerly wind we've been getting, has been knocking back the fish a wee bit, and stopping the hatches. But anyway, what we're going to do is just head up, see how we get on. A couple of pools just to look through as we go up, and uh, hopefully maybe get one or two before we finish. This is the, the pool I always finish finish with, especially from down the bottom end of the, the bait. I've had some nice fish off, off of this pool. Um, it's not just a couple of runs and a wee couple of deep holes. It's all you need to catch one or two fish. So, we quite look. Let's have the dry one. Oh, there's a... Sure, that was a wee fish I saw rise just there. There's another one, I think maybe they're par. So there's a few wee par there, I need to watch for them. But in amongst them there's always a, you never know, okay, a nice brown trout or so. The main fish I usually get around this area here. Slowly work out. It's a good wee run here for fishing them just below the dry, but with these wee par around, they take the dim forward down. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a decent trout just in front of me here. There's wee iron blues there as well, there, there's another fish. I don't know. Oh, oh it's, that's a wee par. So I knew there's wee par amongst them. Got a branch here as well. Oh, God. There's a branch just below the surface here. Got to come in and grab a leader. Fish is away, that's the main thing. Lift this branch out. Oh, that was a nice wee fish. I missed it. <laughs> oh God, that was a fish I saw rising. Look well. At least we hooked it anyway. We rose the fish. So he's a, he's a, I'm not sure. There's wee. There's another one there. There's one or two trout there. There's no flies up here. I've come back on. It just shows you, you can get around the bend and suddenly you get a hatch of flies. Oh. It's hard to tell where they put there. There's another one over there. Look for a decent fish. Oh. 
probably do it. It's a brown trout anyway. It's almost pace to fish this wee pool. Lovely colour. Beautiful wee fish. Look at that for colour. Go back nice and easy. Hopefully maybe one or two others line. There's another fish further over. It's a wee brown trout anyway. There's one further over, that's one that was closer. Jump, jump, jump. It's a lovely colour fish as well. Fish are beautiful now. Hold still, hold still. There you go, lovely colour. I'm gonna wait. We'll try for the one just slightly further over. So, see, he never passes wee runs. Ah, oh, missed it. So, I might didn't drag him, so hopefully he'll come back. That's a wee par, I think. That's a wee par, right. I put them back. I don't like cashing these, but I don't know. I would still for a second. Another salmon par. Beautiful condition. Come back. 20 pounds. There was a nice fish rose there, it's just um, just come up the once or so. There's a nice nice rise. Well, it's about time to go. Well, folks, that's me. Uh, I've had a great three or four hours, or three hours anyway, fishing. And uh, I've had some nice brownies, some great action on the dry fly. So I can't, can't complain. Lovely. It's, uh, the wind's a bit chilly like, but it's not too strong, so uh, I think that's why we've had quite a good day. Uh, the wind has been quite strong the last few days, but today it's been quite calm, so it's allowed, uh, allowed me to catch one or two fish without having to, the hassle of blowing. Uh, quite a strong wind. Oh, there we go. <laughs> a nice brownie. Just to finish off. So here we are. It's a lovely fish. Just, there we go. Where's the hook? Just in the mouth. Just slightly, just by the scissors here. So yeah, a lovely brownie. That's him. Ready to go. In a way. So anyway folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, thanks for dropping by and saying or watching and saying hello. So anyway, head back to the car and climb this wee hill again. <laughs> Doesn't it get any easier? But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and the fishing. And thanks for watching.